Good morning, it's Mandy T here. I am, I've got a new setup. I've got my lighting all situated and down and I feel a lot better about this situation. Um, I think you can see my makeup better uh, with this lighting. So I actually started already doing my face. I did my base and I did my contour a bit. And I'm actually gonna go in today, a couple people, viewers asked if I would do a smoky eye. So I'm actually gonna do a smoky eye today and a little bit of a heavier makeup application today. I am going to go in and do my eyebrows. I'm gonna do my eyes and then some lip today. I didn't really do a lot last time with that. I gave you more of like um, the contouring and stuff last time. So everything is all set to go. I'm ready to go, I have everything here and I will put a list up when I put this on YouTube later. So today I am going to be using my Naked Urban Decay Smoky Palette. I love this palette. Um, if you don't have this palette, it's great for smoky eyes, obviously. Um, it's got some really nice light colors to go in and do your, your lighter shades, and then it's got some really great smoky hues in the middle. If you notice, I still, I can't believe this, it's been three weeks and I still don't have my voice fully. So I think this is just how I talk now. Hopefully it's understandable. So before I go into my eyes, um, I'm gonna do my eyebrows because I have not done those yet. That way maybe you guys can see them again. And yesterday I colored my hair, my friend Rose colored my hair and we actually colored my eyebrows too. So they have a little bit of a purple hue to them. I'm gonna be using my Revlon Color Stay again in the black violet if you can see that i love this it's actually made to be a liner uh, but i use it for my eyebrows i usually do a brow color and then i go in with the purple over it just to give it a little bit of a, a purple hue so I'm just getting all my stuff set up in order. So I'm actually going to go over a couple products at the end too that a lot of people ask me like different products that I use for different things. And I'm going to go over some of my like favorite products of all time for skin to prep your skin too. So I'm going to go in. I just got this the other day and I really like it. Um, it's the NYX Brow Liner. Um, you can find NYX at Ulta. It's a really, really good line and it is very inexpensive and I've gotten great results with it. So if you're kind of a starter out and don't want to jump into a super expensive makeup line, definitely try the NYX, the NYX line. It's great. This brow pencil is in, the color is ash brown because my hair is purple. You want to make sure that you're not using too warm of a, of a brow for yourself. Um, so if your hair is in the ashier colors or um, if you color it like blue or purple or something like that, you want to go with ashier tones. If you have red tones in your hair, you can get away with a little bit of a warmer or a golden color in your brows. So as before, I showed in the last video, I start with a line this way. Soft strokes, you don't want to put like a, a straight line. You want to be a little wider here. Bring it down into this. Right where you want your, your bend to be. And then you can kind of scoop it around. I was saying last time too, my eyebrows are different than a lot of people's eyebrows. And I've done so many people's makeup, but my eyebrows just look better thinner. And see the difference there, the before and the after. Just follow your eyebrow shape. Don't try to be what the girl on TV has or what the girl, you know, don't try to have what I have. Look at your eyebrow. Maybe find a makeup artist that has a similar eyebrow to you or try a different, a uh, couple different products and see what shape you like. So I go in again and I do my top line, my lower line. bring it to this part 
right where I would want my bend to be. And I really do love this product because it stays on all day. And bring it around. <coughs> Excuse me. Gotta bear with my coughing too. Alright, so that's what I first do with my brows, and then I do go in with the color stay, that black violet color. And I just softly go over with that. Just gives me a little hue of the purple. <laughs> Hi everybody. Hi Olivia. Hi Megan. I wish I was at Duncan. That's where I'm going to be next after I do my makeup. Has anybody tried the frozen coffee? It's to die for. It's probably not very good for you, but... So those are my brows. And I'm going to be using... I actually just bought a new palette the other day. And it's the Mermaid palette from Revolution. If you watch my videos, you know I love Revolution. Um, this is the Mermaid palette, and it's pretty cool. I will say... It does have some fallout in it, meaning you have to really pick up a lot of product if you want it to be super pigmented on your eyebrow, but it's $15. So again, if you're just starting out and want to dabble and you don't want to spend $60 on a palette, I would recommend that to play with. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Ain't nothing going to stop me though. I'm going to keep doing my videos. So I will use a little bit of that palette to show you what I mean by that. So let's start with our Naked Palette, Smoky. I am going to go in with, you can tell which one I use the most. It's the fourth one in. The name of it is Armor, and it's like a silvery, steel, smoky, gorgeous color. And a little tip, I use two different brushes when I do my eyes. I always have one that I keep for my dark colors, and I always have one that I keep for my light colors. That way I'm not getting the, you know, smoking out my light colors or my light colors drabbing down my dark colors. So this is what I use for my dark and I always keep it all for my dark. And then I go in with my lighter one. I have a couple for that, but I really like this kind of paddle one. It fans out. So I'm going to be using these two, my light and my dark one. Always clean your brushes. Make sure that you're wiping them down in between uses, even if... You're not using them on somebody else. <coughs> so I'm going to go in with this latest shade all the way to the corner. And then I'm going to be using the fourth one. So starting with the lighter color. Again, start right in your tear duct and sweep it across. Under your eyebrow too, give that a nice little shimmer under there. And the best thing about doing eyeshadow is you can put, I mean you can layer it and blend it. That's how you're going to get the best look, is by layering and blending. If you just try to go in with one color, you're not going to get that seamless blend of the marriage of the two colors together and that's what gives that really nice smoky look so you might think why would you put a light color in but it definitely gives you a nice palette to start to give you something to kind of merge into but once you have that on pick up your dark brush that you're going to use now this is very important, when you pick up your product, you want to pick up a good amount of product, but you do want to make sure that you tap it a little bit, so that you don't go in and get some fallout under your eyes. So, we are going to start in, find in your eye, your bend, your, this part right here. That's where you're going to want your dark, and you're going to want to think of this as like a sideways V. And that's where you're going to want your darkest shade to be. I, you, I don't go in and just slap. I mean, I just go in and, and softly pat it in. And really, really blend it in. Can you see that? I 
And then I go in and I always mirror on the other side what I'm doing. Hey girl. You don't want to go up too high because you don't want to go into that, that highlight area that you want right underneath your brow. So you really just want to go in the crease and up a little bit. Really blunt. I guess I use like little semi-circles when I'm doing this. Don't go in too much. You really want to concentrate right here. And I really just build up from here. Go with a little more product. This is my all-time favorite thing to do in my eye. It's like a smoky eye. I'll do it right in the middle of June. 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm not scared to do a smoky eye. Okay, so once you have some dark on there, go back to your light brush color that you were using. Pick up some more of that light color. And you want to start in the center top of like the round part of your actual eye and just press that in there. See that? And then you want to follow on the other side and press that in. As soon as you have this look, this is the most important part is you want to blend the two together. Softly go this way and you're going to blend through that light color and get rid of any lines you have. And that kind of softens it a little bit. So the idea if you think of it is go in with your dark, then go in with your light, then go in with your dark, then go in with your light. And just make sure that those are really nice and blended. So I'm actually going to go in and blend through a little bit darker too in my crease. So last time I did a video I didn't have any of my No Tug left. This is It Cosmetics. Uh, you can get it also. It's called No Tug Eyeliner. It's the best eyeliner I've ever used. It stays on, it's waterproof, anti-aging, it stays on my eyes all day. And it's just a really creamy, fluent consistency that goes on my eyes really well and stays on all day. So like I was saying before, really get in there where your hair is on the bottom. Make sure that you bring it all the way through. See how that line goes all the way through? And you want to repeat on this side as well. This stuff is so great. It's like a blackout black. Follow all the way through so you don't have a line over here. See how we're starting to get that look? Now before you do any eyeliner on the top, I like to go in and do a little bit with my highlighter right in the corner of my eye. And you're going to use your light brush for that as well. You don't want to use the dark brush because then you'll just smear it. Give yourself a little highlight there, right in that tear duct. It's going to create a gorgeous effect there. Something so little like that is going to just make a huge difference. All right, now, if you remember from my last video, my favorite liner for the top is called uh, Fierce Flicks. I get it online. If you look it up, it's Fierce Flicks, F-L-I-X. And it looks like this. It's worn away because I use it so much and it's lasted so long. And you kind of give it a shake. It's got that felt tip on it. I'm gonna start with this eye and I do, I pull my eye and I do a nice, thick line and then I meet it back this way and you want to make sure that you don't open your eye until it's dry 
so I always kind of dry it. And I do the other eye. I like a thick line on top. And this just takes practice. You know, doing it day after day. And just use one of your palettes to, as a wind instrument to just kind of dry this off. You just don't want to open your eye and have a black line on top of your eye. So there's the eye. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to use a little bit of that mermaid palette that I was talking about earlier, and I got that in Alta. And I'm just going to throw a little bit of purple into the corner where my smokiness is. And you have to pick up a lot of product and kind of blend it into that crease. So nice out today, guys. I'm sitting right in the sun. So nice out, finally. You want to kind of dry your brush off and really go in and blend that in. And if need be, you can go in with the lighter color and blend it even more, but I like it really heavy like that. So I am going to go in with my, that color that I used for the top, the dark, this color. My favorite one, obviously. And again, that's armor. Here's the part that's going to make it super smoky. You want to take your finger and pull your eye down a little bit, go right into this corner and use your eye shadow on the bottom and really follow that line. And do that on the other side too. Just blend it down in. You could even put a little pop of purple or the, whatever color you're using on the bottom. Always go in and make sure that I pick up my extra out and up. Now I'm going to go in with my blush, and today I'm using I really love this color, it's a really bold color. Um, it's called Coral Cove, and it's Milani. I believe you can get this at, I believe I got this Alta online. It's a super coral color. I love it for summer, and I love it when I do like a darker eye because it really gives me like a gorgeous coral, um, glowy. For somebody who has like brown eyes and brown hair, it gives like a gorgeous glow, like a Kim Kardashian glow. And when I first saw like a coral color, I was like, there's no way I can pull off anything like that ever. And then I tried it, and I was really impressed. I really like the way that it looks. So I go right over my dark area. Start like on the top and push it up into your hairline. Little baby strokes. See how it just like it makes you glow. I use a lot of blush, guys. Sorry. As long as it's blended, it's gonna wear really nice for the day. And I go in and put a little on my temples to glow. And this makeup isn't for everybody. This makeup today is definitely a more theatrical look. This isn't, I wear it on an everyday basis, but you know, it's not for everybody every day, but everybody asks for something a little more stuff. So here's more stuff. I am gonna go in with my Better Than Sex mascara, best mascara there is. And with mascara, you wanna make sure that you're not like going like this and like, the best thing to do is to kind of move it around a little bit and then pull it out and you'll have more product on it because you're just going to take product off. I 
I tried the waterproof one of this and I didn't love it as much as I love the original one. That's my personal opinion. I really like this one though. Make sure you do the tops. And then for the bottom, I'm actually gonna do purple. And you can use blue, you can use, I had a really hard time finding colored mascara. I remember in the 80s, I remember that was like the thing to do. It's actually really hard to find. So NYX makes a great purple mascara and they make a couple other colors too. So if you're looking to do something fun like that, NYX, go to the NYX aisle. It's awesome. I love my NYX. So there's kind of the look with my mascara done. Here's my NYX mascara. This is what it looks like. And it's purple. It's super purple. I'm gonna put a little bit on the bottom. Always get it in my hair. It works though because my hair is purple, it just blends. Thank you, Maureen. So are you. So when that dries, it kind of dries a little dark. It gives you a little pop of purple. Let that dry. I'm actually going to do a lip too. And I know the rules are you usually don't do a crazy lip and a crazy eye, but again, I don't do what I'm supposed to do, so I'm going to do both today. So this is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip, and this, it's like a soft matte, like mauve color. It's really pretty. And I just start with like an X. And work out from there. ColourPop will stay on all day, it's incredible. Ooh tip that I learned is if you make a kissy face, you put your product in there, it'll be good. ColourPop will stay on all day, it's great, so I definitely recommend ColourPop lipsticks. I know a lot of people who use it. So I'm actually feeling like I look a little, um, I want to put a little bronzer on. Hi Rose, I have your lipstick on that you bought me. Rose is my best friend and Rose has taught me a lot that I know about makeup and kind of got me into it. So thank you Rose. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of color because I just feel like I, I went tanning so I have a little bit of color. So I'm just going to use my contour palette a little bit and give myself a little more color. And one thing about bronzer is keep it like on the outskirts of your face, like the boundaries. You don't want to go in like the middle areas with your bronzer. And always go down your neck too. Everybody forgets to do their neck and drives me crazy. So there's the look. So one thing before we're done today, I wanted to go over a couple of my favorite products. When I'm prepping, I came across this. I got this at Walmart and they sell it at Dollar General too and it's one of the best things I've ever found. It's a polishing charcoal and black sugar scrub. And I do this every morning. And in the nighttime, I do like a Pond's cold cream to remove all my makeup. But this gives me like a nice exfoliant and gets my face super ready 
for my day and for my makeup and I just feel like it gives me like a nice glow so I would super recommend this it's great it's totally been used and um, but it's awesome I would try this let me know how you guys like it and I also wanted to tell people that about this this is um, the breakfast scrub and it is maple scented I've been using this in the shower for an exfoliant it's like a sugar scrub for my body and it smells so good Oh my god, it's like pancakes. Like, if you like maple candy or maple anything, and it's such a good exfoliant, it makes my skin smell for the rest of the day. Um, it's Oat Sugar and Shea Breakfast Scrub. And it's by Soap and Glory. And you can find this at Alta. And it's really inexpensive. And I also always buy the lotion. And the, the lotion has like an almond scent to it. And my skin has never been better since using these two products. And the uh, charcoal and black sugar for my face. So I would recommend getting those. And here's the final look. Let's see if I can pick this up. If you guys want to see anything else, let me know. Keep the questions coming in. And I will continue to do a bunch of videos this summer. And um, product reviews and things of that sort. So hopefully my voice will be back next time. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time, and thank you for watching. Follow me on YouTube as well.